Change is inevitable. It also takes courage and a lot of hard work. My feature gives you, individuals, entrepreneurs, and companies, the opportunity to share not just how you manage to change your careers, but also your companies. Check out this week's story. So Bo Guidance is a software that started as a step-by-step -step guide through specific college applications on mobile devices and also allow counselors and parents to keep track. We have since pivoted because we saw a bigger market opportunity for colleges to I Got In. And I Got In helps colleges to increase their enrollment through values-based admissions. So using the experiences of current college students to market to prospective students. I would say that my, my biggest challenge in this industry as a non-tech person has been actually working with technical developers and building out the vision. So I really had to learn how to be able to communicate in essentially another language um, to be able to really help them identify what were the problems that our customers were having and how do we create solutions for that. So a big part of what I did was reach out to some of my own advisors and mentors who had experience creating their own tech companies to help me and be able to communicate with my developers and be able to set things up so that we can really create the product that Bold Guidance has come to be. My advice for someone who's reinventing themselves is be confident in yourself. Understand that you can overcome any challenge or any obstacle that comes your way. You've already made it to this point. There's so many things that you've been through in your life that has gotten you to where you are today. So there's no reason that you can't keep moving forward. In my case, I went from being unemployed to an entrepreneur or from an idea to raising 500,000. I'm telling you that you can be able to do this yourself. So know that you have it in you to do it and there's nothing that can stop you. Send us your reinvention stories. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.